Hi everyone, I am Snuff Anybody and I'm here with part 11 of my 6 photo odyssey. Today I'll be having a look at the Indian Cory. Been looking forward to this one, uh, but let's have a closer look at the Snuff. The Snuff looks like this. It is light brown. It's finely milled, as most of the six photo range. The moisture level, eh, it's basically medium. There is uh, not any oil, oily substance added to this stuff. It is sort of fluffy. And uh, I'm thinking, very easy to take. But uh, let's have a whiff and see how it works in the nose. Okay, so uh, in the tin, this is very similar to the natural snuff. There's this sort of metallic scent to it. Not a lot of spices. Maybe some mint or a bit of menthol. Not sure here. But uh, let's have a pinch and uh, see what the nose can detect. Ooh. Yes, there is this sort of metallic scent to it that I also detected in the natural snuff. This is spicy, but not what I would have imagined uh, from the name Indian curry. There is no fenugreek seed here, which I was dreading. has a hint of warmth to it, the spiciness is not a chilli burn at all, it's just kind of spicy warm. It's a mellow snuff, it's not overpowering. It's quite delightful. I do not perceive a lot of nicotine here. Uh, on a scale from 1 to 10, where 1 is nothing and 10 is call the nurse. I'm going to rate this 3, 3 maybe 4. I can't really define the spices here. They are very mellow and what mostly comes forward is the tobacco base. That is super delicious. Uh, this is based on the natural snuff, just added a bit of spicy oomph to it. So, on the squinty scale, where one is an awful revolting snuff, and five is a heavenly nirvana snuff, this is a three, three and a half, it's a good, decent snuff, with a bit of spicy oomph to it. Delightful. Oh, this is all for this time. Uh, join me again on part 12 where we'll be doing the Anakali. Goodbye.